Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at macOS Ventura 13.3 and this is on a 2018 MacBook Air. So I will show you the screenshot here. You can see that it came in at 2.24 gigabytes on this computer, but I've seen it as large as almost 12 gigabytes on some of the new 16 inch MacBook Pros. So pretty crazy. Uh, that's a pretty large update but on this computer at least, it was relatively small. So let's go ahead and go through the things Apple listed here, and then we'll talk about just a couple other little things um, that they did not list. So first things first, there are new emojis. I feel like I've started every video with this, but hey, emojis are pretty important, right? So here we are in the character viewer. You can see uh, there's an emoji right there. Look at that, rightwards pushing hand, or even a leftward pushing hand. But yeah, there's just a whole lot of new emojis. There's 21 new ones, different animals, gestures, objects, etc. Um, so you can like scroll through or just look at your emoji keyboard and I'm pretty sure you can easily tell which ones are new and which ones have been here. So yeah, 21 new emojis are now available. So that's pretty cool. So you now have a new remove background option, which they have added into Freeform. So basically how this works is, let's say we just throw a random image in here, like this one of this iPod Touch. Now this picture, um, it works best when the background is clearly defined. So with this pattern, it's probably not gonna work uh, that good. But basically you just click the image, you go down here to the image options right here, and you see the option right there to remove the background. So when you click on that, it will use AI or machine learning, whatever you want to call it, to remove the background. Now, like I said, that wasn't a good example because it wasn't clearly defined. So it kind of cut off the whole right side, but you get the point. Uh, so quick way to remove the background of an image if you are using the freeform. So that is pretty nice. Next thing here has to do with photos. I'm not going to go into there, but basically photos, you have duplicate album, which allows you to see all your duplicated photos. Well, now those duplicate photos will also show up if they're in your iCloud library. So it will look through your library to see if there's any duplicates in the cloud and it will show them to you across all of your devices. So you can kind of delete those because you weren't able to see those before. Next thing here has to do with the keyboard. So there's now transliteration support for uh, three different keyboards. I'll just show you the names right here because I don't want to try to pronounce those. <laughs> but they're right there, those three uh, new keyboards transliteration support. And there's also new keyboard layouts for these right here as well. Again, I don't want to butcher <laughs> the names, so that's why I am showing that to you. Next thing has to do with the accessibility. So if we head into accessibility here, these settings have been added into iOS as well. But now in accessibility, you have a new option to automatically dim uh, video. So if you have video that has a lot of flashing of lights or strobe effects, you have the ability uh, to go ahead and dim that. Also in accessibility, we now have uh, support for weather and maps in the voiceover function. So a couple new accessibility features uh, there for you. Now Apple did address a few bug fixes in this update as well. So the first one has to do with uh, trackpad gestures. So there was an issue where certain trackpad gestures may have stopped responding. So if you open your launch pad, you pinch the zoom, you swipe back and forth with four fingers, different apps and stuff. I was actually experiencing that with um, the pinch to zoom. Every once in a while it wouldn't uh, quite work as smoothly as it should. So that should be fixed now. The second issue has to do with um, ask to buy request. Now this was addressed in iOS as well, but basically if you're a parent and you manage a child's device, they can send you an ask to buy request and there was an issue where those requests may fail to appear on a parent's device. So that should be fixed now. And then the final issue has to do with voiceover again. 
and it may become unresponsive after using the finder. So that should be fixed. As far as the other things I was going to mention here and there, one cool thing now has to do with uh, SD cards. So if you plug an SD card into your Mac, you'll now have to allow it before it actually will pop up. So that's kind of a nice little security feature there. Next thing has to do with Siri voices. Those were added in iOS. So you now have two new Siri voices. I believe it's for Hebrew and Arabic. Um, are those two new Siri voices. There's also 12 new shortcut options that you can use in the shortcuts app. And then the last thing has to do with the home app. Um, if you go into the home app, you go into updates, you can now do the home upgrade, which will upgrade the architecture of all of your home devices. So that is pretty nice. And then last but not least, of course, we can always talk about Apple's security updates. So you can head over to the support page and this is where you'll be able to find all the good details about everything they addressed. We can go to Ventura 13.3 down here and we can scroll through and see all the updates. Now this time around for all of Apple's updates, there's a lot of security updates which is a good thing but also kind of a scary thing at the same time but you can just scroll through and you can see all of the security things that were updated and then you can also see the other ones here for all the other devices if you note we do have Safari 16.4 which has been updated and then we also had a studio display uh, firmware update which is 16.4 as well so those have to do with your Mac. Also, if you're running on some older software, we do have Big Sur and Monterey that also received security updates as well. But anyways, guys, that is everything here for Ventura 13.3. It's a good amount of new changes here, security bugs and fixes, all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today in this video. Appreciate you watching the channel. Be sure to click on that like button if you enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next video.